Alright everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Darksiders. Now, I haven't done anything off screen yet, because I've been doing other stuff. Actually, I think I may have bought stuff. Can't really remember. But, um, this set's going to be a little bit different than my usual sets, because I'm going to try and finish the Forge Lands this set. However, comma, I'm going to accomplish this through a rather unorthodox way of doing it. Um, I'm going to be recording set 7 right now. And set eight, set nine, however long it takes to finish um, the set or finish off the Forge Lands. And if I can, I'm going to add it all into one, not one part, but into one set, and multiple parts, and um, uh, try and edit, edit and release it um, on Monday. It's currently Saturday, but you know, um, the problem with this is it takes four bloody ever to edit these uh, Dark Sire sets. Cause I'm editing it at a higher uh, quality, 1080p, so, because this game deserves it. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, it may mean that I'll have close to finishing the Forge Lands uploaded by then, because sometimes it can take a whole day to edit one part. So we'll see how things go. Alright, um, to do... I've been playing other games, so I'm a little rusty. Alright, we are going up here. Do, do, do. There we go. Yeah, off screen I came back to, um... Thane? I think his name is. Bought some new abilities, uh, sold some stuff, and upgraded my, um... Uh, Scythe. I think. Or up upgraded my, um... Uh, Possessed Weapon, which I think is my Scythe. Still don't have enough to get into there yet. But I'm going to record me going to there off screen to uh, show what's inside the Forge Land. Basically, what's, what's going to be is I'm going to upload a video showing off all of the uh, pages of the Book of the Dead locations in each specific area, each area, and what that area's death tomb uh, has, has for you. So you'll not see me go inside these things in the actual set. You have to check out that video. But it's a lot of good stuff in there. Alright, have I talked to you already, right, pup? I have. Got everything I need. Let's grab this and head on inside. Boop! Ooh. Frost damage. Not bad. Oh. Not bad. Upgrade. There it is. My Wrath on Crit. This is my usual setup, by the way, for any possessed weapon. It's always going to be at least Crit Chance, Health on Crit, and Wrath on Crit with a optional uh, fourth ability that will generally be a elemental thing. So, health and execute's not that bad. But regardless, I now have all the stuff I need. I can regenerate wrath and I can regenerate health pretty quickly with a high, uh, higher crit chance. So, uh, pretty, pretty good. All right. Oh, hi. If memory serves, there are two uh, pages of the Book of the Dead in here. Boom! Scroll view. Yeah. Sorry, itchy ear. Let's go! Oh! Screw you! Boom! I actually want to execute him, but oh well. Nope. Okay, give me this. Not that great, but eh, not much. Else, not much that's better than my legendary right now. All right, give me this. All right. Equip that. Give me that. Oh, get there. I was thinking there's something down there, but I know there isn't. <clears throat> Trying to remember what this dungeon has in, hold for, has, has in store for me. Alright. Power up! Hiya! Climb. Flip. There we go. Boom! Boom! Alright. And set. Alright, 
Alrighty then. <clears throat> What's in here? I think we get to fight those, uh, yep, those guys. Luckily, they're really easy to kill. Got the Graven's done, though. Ooh. Take a little more damage than I thought I would. Got a corner. There we go. I've been playing uh, turn based RPGs, so. Yeah, I'm a little rusty with this. I should be playing a lot of. Fa uh, not Fatal Frame. A lot of. Um, Fallout again. With the mods and the Creation Club out, I'm going to be kind of getting back into it. That is good. Alright. Can't go that way, can't go that way. Gotta go this way. Up I go. Up around, drop. Oh, oh yeah, I remember, this, I remember this place now. Okay. I'm trying to remember the layout of this place a lot more than I uh, do. I think I remember what the uh, end goal of this area is. <clears throat> I still gotta get that book back to or uh, Orin. Um, after I finish this uh, section right here, I'll, I'll do that. Yeah, I forgot to do it last time because I was uh, wanting to go check out what, uh, uh, check out the recording more. Oh, back up. I have had a few more weird things happen, but um, if you want to check that out, check out my Wednesday's Le Wednesday Let's Plays. That's usually when I um, update on the hauntings going on, uh, because that's my uh, horror uh, day. Every Wednesday is always going to be horror. As a friend of mine referred to it, uh, she calls it the uh, horrifying hump day. All this guy has something scary in the middle of the week. Um, okay. So yeah, every Wednesday um, I have a horror, a horror game going, and that's usually when I update anything that's um, ghostly. Yeah, I get it, I get it. Backflip. <clears throat> so check it out then. Uh, currently we're playing um, Fatal Frame 3 Tormented. I have uh, plans for the next game already in store. Just gotta finish Tormented because it's one of my favorite Fatal Frames. <clears throat> Nifty. Alright. And back onto the mech. Now I can fight these things on the ground if I want to. But where's the fun in that? Climb, climb. Boop, boop, boop. So powerful. Yep, new go level coming up. I was actually looking at my level gauge like, when's my next level up, I wonder? <laughs> Just uh, leveled up. Oh, and that one. Okay. Um. Frost. And regen, um, wrath. That's helpful. Explosions. And crit strike. Okay, cool. Let's keep upgrading that first. Break. Don't need to. Just want to. And to make sure no one gets me while I'm getting this thing. Boop boop. 
Although no one is really going to come in here. Ooh, hello. Wrath on execute. Ooh. Ooh. It's not a bad scythe. Gives me a good jump, too. Alright, climb back up. <clears throat> Break this. Swing, swing, crush. That's the best combo. Square, square, triangle. Alright. Like I said, once I open that door over there is when I'll go and uh, del deliver the book. Screw you. If memory serves, there's a page of the Book of the Dead down there. I'll uh, down there check, but... First, Boop. come back here. There we go. Let's go. Screw you. Nope. Come on, come on! Any more? That's what I thought. Give me this. Alright. Simplicity itself. Plot the key. What <clears throat> about? Which was a fast way to climb. Oh, <laughs> that was lucky. <laughs> like the jumping thing that you can do in uh, Dark Souls One. Oh well. Right, let's check to see if there is a book that page of the Book of the Dead down here. Or is it just just a chest? Ooh, gimme. Alright, so I'm right at uh, max health. Good to know. Climb. Climb. Up. Hey, Mac, how you doing? Alright, let's go ahead and open this door. Get up here. Remember there being a way to go faster. How'd I do it? Hmm. And the door's open. Alright, let's go turn this book into Orin. Luckily he only has that only we don't have to turn that into him. I think I just saw my computer my uh, recording glitch a little bit. I apologize if it's been doing that. Unavailable. Um, I haven't checked, uh, but I haven't, been keeping a good, I haven't been keeping a good eye on it, so I apologize. Right, now can I do it? Or is it just something that's going on with the transition thing? Okay, I guess I can't fast travel. It's odd, normally I can. Right, let me check... Ah, uh, there's a little, uh, green something when I do this. And I see that recording my eye, and I think my computer, my, uh, recorder's acting up. One more time. Yeah, I can't fast travel for some reason. That's weird. Give me that back. So I guess I'll just do it, um, after we finish this dungeon. If I can remember to do so. Do so. Alright, destroy all this blight. Or corruption as it's called in this game. I call it blight because, well, I like uh, D Dragon Age. And there are rumors that Dragon Age 4 is currently in production, and I am so stoked. Can't wait. 
And yes, for those wondering, um, I will, if I get around to it, <laughs> depending, on what my, depending on how the future's going on, um, if I get around to it, I will do another uh, three dark uh, dark siders, three um, warrior, rogue, mage, dragon age playthrough for that game. But I'm not going to go through it again. Not through the whole thing again. I played through it enough. I actually have I actually have 100% all three dragon age games. Took quite a while, but damn. All right, and mastered. Let's check out that crit chance. All right, so that's my mastered haze killer. Awesome. Whoop. Run, 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 run. Whoop. Don't think oh, I do need it. Okay, I was like, I don't think I need the mech anymore, but apparently I do. Detach. Do, do, do. And set. Hop off. How much more of the map is there? Do, 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 do. Okay. Yeah, we, we'll be able to finish this area pretty, pretty bloody quickly. Okay, I gotta kill this I gotta defeat all the enemies in here quickly. If you defeat under like I think five minutes, you get a uh, hidden chest. All right, basically, with those guys, um, they will have a shield up, making them invulnerable to damage for a little bit. The other ones are invulnerable right now because they're in the wall. We have to summon them back out by destroying everything in the field. Where's the next one? There it is. Come on, buddy. Dang it! Screw the guy behind me because I know it was there. There actually is going to be a tough fight coming up where we have to fight two of the big uh, constructs. So you're gonna see me use my uh, save my uh, Reaper form for that. All right. Get rid of you. Come on. Keep the DPS going. There we go. Lock on you, buddy. Back up. Come on, keep it going. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. There we go. Sad thing sucks. The thing that sucks the most right now is my eyes itching like crazy right now. Ah, there we go. I got a big one coming out. Dodge! Dang it! Dang it! Dodge! And dead. Next one. And that. All right, come on, get out so I can kill you quickly. All right, I got the two. Let's group them up so I can get good, get good group damage, get as much as I can. Good.
There we go. Did I do it? I did it! Oh, gods. Okay, um... Don't need that. Good DPS, though. There were a lot of things that dropped. Alright, what's in the box? Some money, and there's scythe. Ooh, looks awesome! Shame it's not that good. Okay, so this is part of the Necromancer armor set. I'm good without that. Oh boy. That fight always gets me running. <clears throat> Alright, open up. Alright. So yeah, pretty much what's going to happen with the uh, recording of this set. I'm going to record this, edit, and if there's time, I'm going to record the next part, edit, and if there's even more time after that, I'll record the next one, edit, and upload it all on Monday. Hopefully, I can get these all done and have the Forge Lands done on, by Monday, when this, when this uh, whole thing comes out. We'll see. <clears throat> this stuff. Good. Thank you. Jump. Alright, give me the box. Ooh, Mjolnir! Oh, and you're the awesome one, too! Oh, Dankeschön. I love this hammer. I get a feeling once it's fully leveled up too, it's gonna do it's gonna be brutal. Okay, so let's just drop it in now. Okay, so I'm gonna name this after Mjolnir, so we're gonna have to get some good oomph behind it. Increase strength. Upgrade. I'd, I'd, I'd uh, name it now, but I'm not 100% certain how, <laughs> if I can name it properly. 227. Yeah, let's go ahead and equip it. Oh, look at that. It even has runes in it. Yes. <laughs> I love this hammer. Right, let's grab the compass for the pup. You guys, I want I want to keep it. And I want to use the hammer, but ooh, oh, this is a, this is a tricky one. Do I do I risk it? In the end, it will be more powerful than this hammer. So let's go ahead and do it. Be more higher than two forty. Come on. Ah, uh, it isn't not yet. Anyway, crit damage. Oh well. I hope I can get a, a lightning effect, a lightning weapon soon. <clears throat> All right. Just trying to remember this place. Okay. There is a page of the Book of Dead here. It's kind of annoying to unlock, but. Luckily, it's out of the way, so don't, I don't accidentally get it. Do, 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 do. Back flip. Up we go. Ah, God, it's itchy nose. Sorry. Anyway, um, back to the haunted thing, because that was the big thing that happened last set. And kind of uh, caught me off guard. <clears throat> because I'm going to be honest with you guys. Until I heard that music box playing... I honestly didn't believe I was haunted. I, I, I could write off literally everything and explain why it happened. The noises I hear at night would have been um, uh, the house settling, stuff like that. Um, a few other things that were weird I could explain. Um, 
the stuff I saw as a kid and uh, a little bit in high school, I can't really explain. But for the most part, most of the stuff I can explain. That music box, that I can't explain. The literally only way I can explain that music box going off is if the last time I actually showed you guys it was it somehow wound up enough to where it could play the song again, but just didn't do it because the springs were too wound up and over time it loosened up enough to play it. But the fact that it's broken the way it is, I highly doubt that. So yeah, it, it, it really freaks me it freaks me out sometimes. That's that music box freaked me out like crazy bad. Backflip off. Keep it going. Give me this. But yeah. Um There has been things that have happened since then that is a bit freaky. Tonight, specifically. But I can't explain it yet, because I want to save it for Wednesday. Because that's my horror thing. So, feel free to look it up. Or look into it if you are into my, uh, the horror things going on. And, uh, tell me what you guys think. Cause I, I really do enjoy your, uh, theories. There's one person who's actually been commenting their theories. And it's pretty interesting stuff. Stuff I've heard about, uh, spirits before. But, uh... Regardless, it's still helpful to hear, uh... It's still nice to hear people people's opinion. Why is it... It was just sort of rolling away. So yeah, if you guys have opinions, um... Thoughts, whatever you want to say, go ahead and say it. I'd like to hear it. Climb, climb, climb. Hop on. And again, if you have a, if you have requests for a specific let's play, go ahead and tell me. The entire reason why I did the Catherine let's play is because someone recommended it a long time ago, and I wanted to do it for them. Um, uh, your <laughs> crap. <laughs> What's your guys' opinion though? If you would like to see a Destiny Two let's play, feel free to say uh, say so. Um, I would be more than happy to do it for you guys. I actually have a friend who is more than happy to uh, join in as well. He was a part of the uh, Destiny Let's Play last time. <clears throat> Destiny 1. But uh, for the most part, Destiny's, Destiny 2 is not going to have a Let's Play. Um, I may do raids, though. Raid videos. But uh, I won't do uh, a Let's Play of it, of the storyline, unless you guys ask for it. Well, it's because it's Destiny. I don't know if it's going to have a storyline or not. I was burned last time with Destiny, so we'll see. I was actually um, a part of Year One Destiny on my private account, but I never really used it. I don't really use my private account that much anymore. Woo! Oh, this place. I remember this fight. That's like... Alright, let's do this. But yeah, I'm looking forward to Destiny 2. I really am. But I'm going to try and keep, do my best to keep it as a, uh, you know, just a game for fun. Um, I do have a clan on Destiny 2 if you want to join it. It's the Sendo Familia. Uh, feel free to uh, ask to join it and I'll send you guys invites. Well, let's go! Boom! Oh, gods! I'm getting rid of the little annoyances for. Oh, shoot. That's what I get for itching my nose while playing this game. Screw off both of you! Out of the way! Out of the way! Out of the way! Come on! Back up! Teleport! Out of the way! Dang it! He was doing the freaking combo! And I have been a part of every Destiny Reign except for Vault of Glass. 
That's the only one I've never actually been a part of. I think. Have you been a part of all the class? Um, I've done the Knight's Fall Raid, I think it's what's called. The one with Crota and Oryx. Uh, I did the Wrath of the Machines. What the ones did I do? I know I did more, but I don't remember them. <clears throat> I only jo To be fair, though, with the Oryx one, or the, um, uh, Crota. Can't remember which one it, it was. The, uh, the one where you don't fight the big winged dude. The one with the, uh, where he's a gi basically a giant glowing knight. I can't remember what it's called. Frick. But, uh, that one, I only joined at the end to shoot rockets at him. Because, um, a friend of mine was having issues with it. And she asked for help, so I helped. Boop. And to be fair, that, that boss, that boss is nothing. <laughs> because of my freaking truth rocket launcher. It's so broken. Over there is there a page of the Book of the Dead. Oh. Roll into place. Alright. And that should lead us out of here. Oh, boy. Let's do this. Back foot! Yeah, I keep forgetting the third one always does that, uh... Whoa! Jeebus! I keep forgetting the third one always does a, uh, spiral fancy flip. They, uh... Dang. They double-teamed me. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Again. Back up! And crush! Oh crap! Back up! Okay. Out of the way! Mm. Okay, where do I want them? Last one. Out of the way! Oh, uh, you sent me little cronies to help out? Cheap! Scroll view! Alright, there goes a the big guy. I'll be so mad that these guys kill me after all that. Which is a possibility. Out of the way. Oh, good. Potion. Sorry. Try to itch my nose while doing this. Kind of, kind of hard to run around one handed. God, I love that combo. Just pop in, and just teleport in, and do the uh, circle thing. Give me that. All right, I need to find potions. Give me that. I don't see any. Wunderba. Alright, what's in this? No bad. Strength experience. Experience would be good, but I don't need it. Okay, time for the real boss fight. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. 
Well, like this boss fight isn't really that hard as long as I don't get hit too many times. But I do have an uh, extra potion. Oh, hi, Mark. Ugh, God. <laughs> I'm just remembering the room. Tommy Wesso. <laughs> the room is so bad, you have to watch it. <laughs> it really is. Or just watch Nostalgia Critics' review of it. It's, it's really good. Grab. Throw! Nope. Ignore that. Scroll view! Out of the way! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Did not mean that to happen! Did not mean that to happen! Abort! 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 Grab, throw, bang. Ah. Dig it where I want it to be. Roll back. Scroll view. Out of the way. Out of the way. Don't repeat. Don't repeat. Abort. Abort. Run. Help. <laughs> come on, come on. I was almost. Run. Hi. It's for you. Oh, crap. Oh, shibish. Rude! Dang it! Ooh! <laughs> now he's being a dick waffle. Nope! Yeah, they're gonna blow anyway. Now he's being rude. Throw. Got it. Scroll view. You jerk. I got stuck with them so I couldn't get it. Come on, Dax, it's gonna blow up right when I pick one up. See? There we go, Jeebus. <sighs> I could have done that a lot better. I really could have. God, it's so awesome. Skeletal Axe of Rending. I do not remember getting this. Let's see here. <clears throat> a tale told among the dead, uh, amongst the dead plains concerns a proud warrior who boasted often of his skills, or skill, only for it to be later revealed that the braggart had claimed the victories of others for his own. As punishment, the warrior was transformed into a magical axe doomed forever to assist others in gaining the glory he had so wrongfully sought. Although the axe does not strike as hard as many other weapons, it steals the vitality from those it strikes and transfers it to the wielder, strengthening him whilst weakening his foes. Critical strikes with this axe rend the foe for even greater amounts of stolen health. So, it is a HP drained weapon with a caveat that if it crits, it takes even more. Or it's a, um, HP drain weapon, the more damage you deal, the more damage, or more HP you get. Helpful. Oh boy, that was fun. Alright. 
I don't see any treasure just laying around. Alright. Oh. I say and pick up a pair of gauntlets. A guardian. I got to wake him up. As a fun side note, easily missed, there are two chests, I believe two anyway. Maybe just one, right behind him, but we, behind the Guardian, but we won't be able to get it until we come back here. And that's optional, you have to come back here optionally. Which I'll do, I'll screen. Because there's nothing really major in behind them, or in that chest. It's usual random loot, but it's one of the big chests, so you get some good stuff usually. Ooh, Reaper Energy on Execute. That is helpful, actually. Alright, buddy. Time to wake up. say that you can reach the foundry and that a guardian lies within the foundry yes it is where i was cast but it was lost and now you will need my help corruption spreads across your realm and you slumber stone is heavy it is easier to rest in my dream I can move again. In my dreams, I am flesh. This place, what was it? I cannot tell you. It's on the tip of my tongue, but my tongue seems to be elsewhere. Will you help me, old one? Yes. Shall we? Hold on, little one. I love the fact that he just hops onto his shoulder. Alright. Oh, wrong buttons. Well, let's go turn in this quest to Orin. And then I'll fast travel back to the place and uh, see what's up there. I honestly thought Orin was this, was um, the warden we just got. That uh, he was the one who's gonna who was gonna open the way to the foundry. I was wrong. <laughs> but um, next set or next part, depending on how things go, is going to be a little bit longer than usual because the foundry plays straight into the ending of uh, the Forge Lands. So I will just roll with it and go straight to that because otherwise. The part or set afterwards is going to be a five minute video of me fighting a boss. Which, I've done that before, but it's usually just been a part of a longer set of stuff, you know. Alright, boot, dude, I got your book. Give me the EXPs. 
Here is your history, Oren. The Chronicle. At last. It is though the very souls of the Makers remain close to us through this tablet. You understand, I'm sure. <laughs> Death. You are not so cold as you would have us all believe. No. Keep that to yourself, old one. Aw, that's when people know he's a big softy. Okay. Let's go. Back to Tristone. And see if there's any cutscenes that pop up when we get back here. There shouldn't be. Well, if there is, I'll just play through. Alright. I'm about to buy a lot of healing potions. I restored your forge and brought life to stone. But am I any closer to the tree? Tell me now, old one. Or you may never get the chance. I hear the foundry is dangerous. As is the tree, horseman. And the entire forest. That is why you must awaken the guardian. But have you asked yourself why you seek the tree? The tree of life is where I will find my brother's absolution. The Tree of Life is a gateway. From it, one may travel to places undreamed of, whether a world of oceans and forests, or ice, or endless night. The Tree exists there. It may appear different, yet it is the same tree, and its roots connect all the realms. The Tree of Life is not where journeys end, but where they begin. All right, so that's going to be it for this set. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, may continue on with the net with another part, depending if I can get this editing done quick enough. Either way, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the set. If we continue on, I'll see you guys in a few minutes. If not, I'll see you guys in the next set. Goodbye, or see you soon.